Welcome back students to your first Tiger Paws of 2016. I'm Randa Simpson. And I'm Brianna Johnson. A new Miss UWA was crowned on Thursday night. We will bring you more on that, but first. The Sumter County Relay for Life kickoff event also took place on Thursday evening to recruit more teams to raise cancer awareness. Let's head to Brianna with more on this story. It's that time of year again. The Relay for Life kickoff was held on Thursday from 5 to 7 here at the Student Union Building. Teams from all over Sumter County could come and register for the Relay for Life event that will be held on Friday, April 29th. Representatives from the American Cancer Society were present at the event to give detailed information and to encourage the teams that will be participating in the event. The Society would like to show their desire to cure all cancers of the world through their slogan, Paint the World Purple. This event last year raised $32,000 for the American Cancer Society, and goals are set this year to match or maybe even surpass last year's accomplishments. Reporting from Livingston, Alabama, Brianna Farley, Studio 96. Thanks, Brianna. Also on campus, the Center for the Study of the Black Belt inducted two new members into the Black Belt Hall of Fame on Friday. The new members were recognized for bringing honor and improvement to the Black Belt region. Now to Nina with more. I'm at the Bell Conference Center where Dr. Wayne Flint and Harper Lee have been inducted into the Black Belt Hall of Fame for their dedication to the Black Belt. Flint was a professor at Auburn University where he was the author and co-author of 12 books, which included Alabama Baptist, Dixie's Forgotten People, and a memoir, Keeping the Faith. Flint was also the first editor of the Alabama Encyclopedia where he went on to receive many awards. Harper Lee, a native of Monroe, Alabama, is the author of a well-known novel, To Kill a Mockingbird. Lee's novel has been read and studied by high school and college students around the world for its insight into the small town Southern life in the 1930s. Lee's nephew, Hank Connor, accepted the award on her behalf. Lee does not make public appearances or do interviews. The Sisters of Five U held a memorial service on Thursday for their sorority sister, Bethany Harris, who passed away over Christmas break. Tynesha has more information on this. Tynesha? On December 29, 2015, the University of West Alabama lost a student, cheerleader, and 5MU sorority sister, Bethany Joyce Harris. Harris's big sister in 5MU and best friend, Caitlin Beard, started the hashtag, Buckle Up for Beth, while Sarah Neal promoted the awareness about the hashtag. Memorial service was held at Lyon Hall in honor of Bethany by her 5MU sorority sisters. At her visitation and memorial, there was hundreds and hundreds of people that showed up just to see Bethany. Bethany was not only my roommate, I also cheered with her. She was my sorority sister, and she was my best friend. Thank you, Tanisha. In sports, the men's and women's basketball teams each took home a victory this week against UNA. Now to Cameron with a recap of those games. The Tigers of West Alabama took on the Lions of North Alabama on Thursday night in Pruitt Gym. The Tigers dominated the Lions 100-74 and improved to an 11-9 record. The women of West Alabama also played, but ended up following in overtime, 71-73. to The women's UWA Tigers took on the UAH Chargers on Saturday at 2 p.m. in Pruitt Hall. The Tigers defeated the Chargers, 78-68. to The key players were Ariel Wilson, Katherine Taylor, and Moesha Combs. The women's team also defeated UAH on Saturday. Speaking of victories on campus, sophomore Sarah Neal took home the title of Miss UWA 2016. She sets her sights for the Miss Alabama stage in June. The evening opened with 2013's Miss America, Mallory Hagen, as the guest MC for the 35th annual Miss UWA pageant. 2015's Miss UWA, Nicole Riley, performed and later crowned the new Miss UWA, Sarah Neal. Runners up to Neal were Kennedy Sanders, second runner-up, Tranquil Shepherd first alternate with Heather House winning People's Choice Award and Talent. Thanks, Wendy. February started off with high temperatures and a few thunderstorms. Let's go to Taylor to see if the hot weather is here to stay. Thanks, ladies. The weather this weekend will be mostly cloudy with highs just below 60 and lows in the mid-30s. The good news is we seem to be done with rain for a while, at least for this week anyway. At night, you could expect to stay relatively chilly with temperatures to be around freezing. That's it for this week's weather. I'm Taylor Pollock. Now back to Randa and Brianna. Thanks, Taylor. That does it for this week, UWA. Join us next week as we team up with our international students to ring in the Chinese New Year. I'm Randa Simpson. And I'm Brianna Johnson. Studio 96.